You said you made 100K this month. Some people, that's a lot. Some I people, made a, that's nothing. I, I took a 5K From 5K account. to 100K. Yeah, in right? seven months. That's very hard trades. to believe yeah. to a lot of people, right? I've seen it kind of in person. Here, right? pass, me, the, pass, the me, screenshots. pass me my phone right there. I'm going to, I'm going to, none We're of the other one. proof. I'm going to uh, pull up the KuCoin account uh, and I'll show it to you. I actually have a current trade what? open as well. Um, this is a, uh, this is a, an account that I literally started. And I, for example, opened up a Bitcoin long, a Bitcoin short today, because obviously anytime a, market longs you short because they're your liquidity to go the other way and uh and it worked so let me show it to you as proof so i took a 100k account it was at 5k uh right there you'll see it you'll see 30k underneath on an open trade and then you'll see the open pnl you'll see the open pnl that says 70k that means that's the amount of balance in the wallet and then you have a thirty thousand dollar position open on a btc short with uh with three grand in net profit so that puts my account from 5k to 107k and the reason i did that was to prove to people that it's not about how much money you have it's about the information that you have mm -hmm. that allows you to mm -hmm. multiply that money but not only multiply it back to the idea of capital club but to preserve that money and yeah so it's tell a lot us, of money but what, it's good what would you learn in the last three days, I learned. And that. is this the first time you do this challenge? No, bro. I so do you've this all done the it time. multiple times. Multiple times. But the reason I do it is because I want to prove people that it's possible. Mm -hmm. So what did I learn? One, most people overtrade. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So most people spend too much time in front of the charts instead of spending more time in front of the books mm -hmm. and in front of learning and researching. Dude, I do not want to be the guy like Rambo. <laughs> too much room for failure. <clears throat> too much room for error. Too much yeah. room for missing the target. I want to be the sniper. I yeah. want to be calculated. I want to wait on the tree. I want to make sure the, the, the weather's good. I want to check the humidity. And I just want to fire one bullet. And it's a fucking headshot. That's why we did the same thing, not only with crypto, but with e-commerce. Our winning products, one of every four products that we would launch was a winner. Why? Because we spent so much time learning, so much time doing the research, that when we deployed a strategy, it worked. Back to Miyamoto Musashi, he said, life is about training. And the purpose of training is for you to be able to react without thinking mm. that it's so ingrained in your nature that people are like, dude, how did you know Bitcoin was going to go up and down? Because I've been looking at the chart every single day for five years yeah. and I've been understanding it, learning it, studying, becoming one with it. And these people are like, whoa, that's, that's, that's crazy. You're not using technical analysis. Let me break it down to you motherfuckers. The top dogs ain't using technical analysis. They only use technical analysis to know what the noobs are doing. These guys are out here looking at bigger things. And I'll give you an example. Let yes. me tell you one. I can't say who the billionaire is, but uh, there's this really well-known billionaire that what he did was uh, he wanted to open up certain positions with oil, right? He wanted to make some oil trades at a multi-billion dollar level. Do you think this guy got on TradingView did some, did some, did some, support did, some did some, did some support <laughs> and resistance to figure out if he was going to buy some crude oil? Yeah. No, he realized that you know, the containers that you have the crude oil stored in, the lids would go up and down in accordance to the level mm -hmm. of the oil reserve. So the lid was kind of not a sealed lid. It was a lid that was placed over the top. So what does this dude end up doing? He launches satellites into space. <laughs> Thinking to, outside the box. To wow. measure the level of the lid and therefore know the reserves that are held in oil and make his trades and his positions in accordance to that information. Where are you gonna get that, dude? That takes critical thinking, that Only takes fans. experience, that takes knowledge, and you need to be able to put that into play at a micro level so that then you can do it at a macro level. Yeah. So you gotta think outside of the box. You can't be thinking how the sheep are thinking. Dude, if everybody's looking at the same technical analysis, everybody's gonna do the exact same, same thing. Yeah. And it doesn't work. So you need to be able to use it as a measurement, but it can't be that alone. You need to be able to equip yourself with as many tools as possible. I love that. Let me ask you this. I think the whole red pill movement has a very big correlation with crypto, right? Because crypto's messaging at its core is decentralization, right? Being against the government in a sense or being not attached to the government, right? The independence idea. Do you think crypto is really going to be that ace to be like the good versus the evil? No. Why not? Because the U.S. government can print a trillion dollars right now and buy all the Bitcoin in the world. Yeah. So this idea that, for example, Fidelity. Fidelity 
has trillions of dollars of assets under management. Hopefully somebody can look up the logo of Fidelity. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a little Masonic uh, yeah. uh, logo. And they started mining Bitcoin in 2015. Kathy Wood, she was buying, she bought a hundred grand worth of Bitcoin at $250. Dude, the big dogs have been in way before you. You think you, think you got the information first? You think you landed on a Reddit forum and you're ahead of uh, ahead of all the guys that are actually institutionalizing and making the rules and setting things in stone? You're mistaken. For example, a couple of days ago, we had a new prime minister assigned to the UK. Yeah, Bitcoin. There you go. And now they're launching. They're going to push a CBDC. CBDC. I was sitting with the head, and hopefully you come out to to the next mastermind. I was sitting out. We did the Phuket master. We did uh, the mastermind in Albania, and I brought out uh, a. Uh, a gentleman by the name of, by the last name Fulani. And he's the governor of the Central Bank of Albania. He's the one that signs the money that goes out. I asked him three questions. The first one I said, Mr. Fulani, do central banks run the world? And he said, well, I can't answer that, but what I can tell you is what JP Morgan said. JP Morgan said, whoever controls the money controls the world. One. The second question I asked him was, is Bitcoin money. And he said, well, what are the functions of money? You know, it has to be a value. It has to be a means of exchange. It has to have a store of value, things of this nature. So Bitcoin by definition is money. The third question I asked him because he's a globalist. Uh, and I still talk to these people because I'm here to learn. I'm a yeah. student mind. I asked them, you know, world economic forum, 2030, all these things. Is it going to happen? He said, undoubtedly it's going to happen. And the reason he knows it's going to happen is because we're going to go back into a state of what's called techno-feudalism. I'm not going to go into super in-depth details as to what techno-feudalism is. We'll talk about it over dinner because it's a little bit of a deeper conversation, mm -hmm. things that I think people need to go and explore. But if you think a bunch of retail Wall Street bet investors are going to go against the system that allowed them to get rich in the first place yeah. is foolish. These guys control everything and they're going to continue controlling everything because you're not disciplined enough to get your act together to compete. What, you think you're going to compete with these guys that are quants that are running hedge funds worth billions of dollars by reading two books a year? By, hang, by hanging out with scrubs all day? Dude, you're so far behind. They, people can't even comprehend how, how weak they truly are. So my recommendation for people is understand where things are going, understand where the trends are moving, and position yourself in a way where you, as part of the system, because you are a part of the system, like you are part of the problem, you're part of the virus, just as much as everybody else is part of the virus. You need to position yourself in a way that you can succeed and you can minimize your risk. So what does this mean? Over the next coming years, there's going to be a couple major uh, sectors that are going to be extremely popular. Sector number one, anything that has to do with green renewable energy, massive yeah. sector. Right? So me understanding this, I'm going to start looking for projects, companies that are going to position myself, right? To make, dude, these guys still have to pull their money out of the, out of the, like out of the markets. They still have to be able to play these games. So what I'm doing is I'm figuring out where are these guys going and how can I take a little nibble? I'm not here to fight. Like I dude, we, we said it before, right? If this idea that you died, nothing matters in this life, then why am I going to be focused all my intention on trying to disrupt the machine? Yeah, dude. Like what sort of God complex do you have that you yeah. think that you're going to disrupt the machine? You're a cog in the machine. You don't even know. But when you have the humility to recognize you're a cog in the machine, you have to figure out, well, how do I capitalize? And how can I make sure that the people around me don't get fucked, don't get finessed by the system, don't get famoosed? Because so many people are. And if you have the ability to capitalize on that and to do good with the resources that you gain from that, I think that that's a win.